you begin to notice that the things that you lightly are contemplating are flowing easily into your experience because in the light feeling in the absence of effort feeling in the light so light maybe it's because it's unimportant maybe because it's unimportant I haven't been beating the drum of it and so I don't have a lot of momentum going in opposition to it but in the lightness of it the universe demonstrates it in some obvious way so this is what brought Esther to the question the lightness seems like the opposite of effort so when I find myself trying which is we hear that from you a little bit in the realization that you're trying you might want to stop and say this trying could be counterproductive I'm efforting which means I'm not engaging the energy that creates worlds which means I think I'll just give this another run tomorrow and as you do that and do that and do that you're gonna find that effort is not a factor in your experience you're gonna find that trying and struggle are not a factor in your experience you're going to begin to discover that things that you want lightly come easily so there's something important to be talking about there how can I feel light about something I've been so intense about for so long and we say by giving it a rest by giving it a rest by focusing on some other things for a while or by getting as general about it as you can and things just work out they just work out funny thing to hear from someone who's teaching you about deliberate creation <laughs> deliberate creation deliberate creation is about tuning your frequency deliberate creation is about feeling your emotions and knowing what they're telling deliberate creation is about understanding the relationship between who you really are and what you really want and what you're doing right here and now deliberate creation is about chilling out so that there's no resistance and then focusing it's about tending to the frequency first and then applying the thought oh all right now Abraham you said that I think and then I feel so are you actually taking thought back to the element of frequency yep can you find a frequency without a thought can you feel the frequency of love can you feel the frequency of love now don't get carried away about who you love or who you loved or anything like that just feel the frequency of love can you feel the frequency of love can you feel the frequency of enthusiasm can you feel the frequency of fun so it's possible to feel a frequency by interpreting it through emotion in a sort of thoughtless place that's all we're asking you to do that's the thing to do first thing in the morning wake up and enjoy the non thought don't be too quick to try to figure out what this day means and where you have to go and what you have to do just give yourself if you can 68 seconds of just basking in the energy in the non action non verbal even non thought vibrational frequency just give it a chance and see what happens and then watch how the thoughts begin to follow suit it is our promise to you get that momentum going and you'll be off on the right foot and as soon as tomorrow you'll have a day unlike any other day that you've ever had we're not kidding you give it a month give it a month and you'll feel absolute control of your experience and when people see the difference in the way you feel they'll say what are you doing and you say it's kind of hard to describe I'm doing a lot less than I've ever done before <laughs> well well what do you mean well I'm focused upon the way I feel well what does that mean it means I don't want to talk about this with you anymore <laughs> there's a really good chance you're gonna talk me off my high-flying disc well what are you smoking <laughs> well it's not like that this is a non-drug high it's a 
non-drug alignment it's alignment that has always been there for me that now I'm consciously tapping into it's alignment that I've been stumbling on all my life just didn't know how to maintain it didn't know how to create it to begin with and didn't know how to maintain it now I do so I'm doing a more consistent job of it so I've got more momentum going so I've got more airtime happening more vibrational airtime more airtime more attention more verbal time more stuff from me about those pipes that I want to keep open what pipes are you talking about <laughs> well you see there's this path of least resistance between me and everything else and it's a path of least resistance between me and what I want and it's a path of least resistance between me and what I don't want it's a path of least resistance and I'm just keeping the pathway open on the things that I care about well how do you know the difference things I care about that I really want feel good to me when I think about them when I'm focused upon what I want it always feels good when I'm focused in opposition it never feels good oh seems too simplistic to me they'll say I know it did to me at first that's why I tried to make it harder than it needed to be <laughs> I mean it harder than it needed to be for quite a while and then who knew I'm supposed to feel good life is supposed to be fun I have endless unseen energies that have my back who know what I want who are pointing the way I had no idea the leverage the creative energy that was available to me until I started pointing it well what have you accomplished with this well I feel great I know but what else well I just feel wonderful <laughs> Well, what else well it's too much to tell well tell me something well I just feel great <laughs> I feel great and mostly nice people are around me and people who used to bother me aren't coming around and some of them that used to bother me don't bother me anymore and ideas come more easily to me I'm more intuitive I'm more clear-minded the things that occur to me occur in better timing so when I act on them I get more immediate results the things that I want are just flowing into my experience my day-to-day -day moments are really exciting I used to look forward to a vacation and kind of put up with everything before it and now every day feels sort of like that vacation I have that light-hearted feeling all day even when you're at work yeah especially when I'm at work because I feel purposeful there and I feel I feel momentum there and there's this give-and-take thing that happens with me at work where we're all winning as a result of our co-creating together it's some of the best time that I spend is when I'm at work so many lovely people in this world have you noticed well not so much I haven't noticed that so much well that's because I'm on my high-flying disc I know that that's what well now tell me about this stupid disc how how, how did you get on this high-flying disc I was born there <laughs> I, was, I was born there I talked myself out of it with a lot of help from others who had forgotten about it too but no I mean how did you get on it today well I thought you'd never ask <laughs> well this morning when I woke up I just thought happy thoughts <laughs> so that's your philosophy <laughs> You just think happy thoughts yeah I stopped watching television for the most part there's some shows I really like that I am recording and watching fast forwarding through all the commercials which means television won't be around for long because <laughs> yeah just think happy thoughts hang around with people who feel good mostly think of reasons to feel good but mostly I just get up looking for a reason to feel good and almost always find it immediately and then I milk it oh. some people will think that it's too simplistic but as you begin to demonstrate how great you feel and as they begin to see especially those who know you the things that they've been hearing you talk about as they begin to see those things flowing into your experience as they begin to see your prosperity improving and your laughter more obvious and common and they begin to notice how clear-minded you are and what good timing you have what good comedic timing what good intellectual timing what good psychological timing just what good timing 
It's going to be so noticeable. You are going to be such powerful demonstrators of those who have accessed and harnessed and directed the energy that creates worlds that a sort of euphoric feeling of joyful invincibility is going to be yours to the point that when people point out even the most serious seeming from their perspective of problems you're going to stand solid in your knowing of all is wellness and you're going to support them in the same way that source supports you by not freaking out because they have chosen a, a lower flying disc and before you know it you won't freak out when you find a lower flying disc either you'll understand how it works you'll understand that ah this is just a step one moment and that's all part of the process I'm predominantly now for the first several years of my life I was predominantly in step three because I was born that way then those around me began insisting that I become more accountable which meant try to compensate for their inability to stay on their disc <laughs> we hope you heard that in the way we meant it so then I had sort of a rough ride for a while where I was having predominantly step one moments what are step one moments contrasting moments where I know what I don't want so I know what I do want I know what I don't want so I know what I do want so I was asking 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 for quite a few years of my life I was predominantly doing step one moments, stumbling accidentally into alignment but not really knowing what I was doing but it was a good plan because during that step one phase of my life experience all of you have passed through that now hmm. I filled my vortex with all kinds of specifics that matter to me and now I'm in you're in the step three phase of your life experience where now getting on the high flying disc that's your work 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 so I'm done Abraham I'm not gonna create anymore oh no because you're not gonna stay on the high flying disc you're gonna dip you're gonna still have step one moments but you're predominantly going to be living step three moments occasional step one moments because you can't not expand you want to continue to clarify but predominantly step three moments you see what we're getting at how can I assure predominant step three moments by making sure every day at least starts there and if we have done the best sales job that we have ever done about anything we've convinced you to at least give it a go to at least try to see what happens and we would so love a repeat of this gathering with these identical magnificent beings 30 days from today to hear from you what has happened since you have found and established and maintained and enjoyed and understood what it feels like to be on that light-hearted good feeling high-flying disc